I'm Lou, and today I'm going to show you how I put this toilet and shower room in my shop. This closet is really small at four foot by three foot with this side cut off. Originally it was just going to be for a toilet, but I decided to make the walls waterproof and I have a waterproof door and put a shower in here too. I want quick and easy walls and one option is corrugated galvanized steel panels. I'm going to use this heavier duty steel roofing instead and I'll use it in white so it's easier to clean. There are three panels temporarily set in. I'll trace the toilet on the floor so we'll know where to put the plumbing. There's the foot of the toilet. The drain's going to go there. We're going to lay in three inch pipe like that all the way back to here and connect into the main drain line. We'll cut with a diamond blade and dust collector. Now we'll break it out with a mini sledge. Here we are with all the concrete removed and I've exposed that pipe a little bit more. Here's all the stuff I took out. We need to start with a toilet flange and elbow, and this is typically how you do it, but I wanted something a little bit shorter, so I cut them both down to get that. And this goes in right here, and we run three inch pipe back from that. We're gonna come off this pipe into an elbow, down and go into that pipe, but first we'll need to put this T in there to get into it. I'll cut off the pipe with this oscillating tool. So we'll glue the outside of this, the inside of this, and put them together. There's our elbow, there's our T. Here's another T to a one and a half inch line that's gonna to go to the shower and to the sink. Then we go on up to our main line to upstairs. Coming off that T, I added this T. On this side, it comes up, reduces to three quarters, and goes over in front of an exterior door and off to my mud sink. On this side, it goes down through a P-trap back up. We'll add a short piece of pipe and adapt to two inch. Then a small piece of two inch pipe in this drain. The drain is mounted slightly below the level of the concrete. The plumbing's all done. Now we'll pour our pea gravel back in. Now we'll mix up a bag of concrete and pour it in. I'll screed it to get it level with the floor. Now I'll wipe up the sides with a wet sponge and we'll let that dry overnight. There's the concrete work all done, and to save cutting, I'm running that above ground, and so I'll build the threshold of the door up with this treated two by six. I glued the threshold lift plate down with construction adhesive, and now we'll put the door on. I was originally gonna tile in here, that's why the tile board, but you don't need that. Slide in our steel panels. I'm mounting these panels half inch off the floor. These are typical pole barn screws used with metal roofing, but I'm going to go with these sheet metal screws instead, so if I fall against them, I won't get hurt, and they're driven in with a Torx head. All the metal's installed, and now I'm going to seal the bottom edges with Loctite foam because it is white and waterproof. There's the dry foam, and now we'll use a knife and an angle grinder with a diamond blade to get a look more like that. There's all the foam trimmed off, and now we have a waterproof shower basin. I want my shower head to come out there, and I'm just going to use a garden sprayer. I'll make my own shower controller with these parts. I've got hot water coming in through this PEX connector to the valve to the T. Cold water coming in through here, through the valve to the T. They mix in here, and then go to this garden hose connector and off to the shower head. You wrap these several times with Teflon tape, screw them together, and tighten with a wrench. All put together and we'll install it under our shower head. I drilled these with a hole saw, put our valve assembly through, and put the handles back on. On the back side we'll just anchor this to the wall with metal strapping there and down here. We attach our garden hose here and I got a really flexible metal one that loops down like that and goes up and out the shower hole. So I can pull out my shower head and use it as a sprayer. We'll cover that with some scrap paneling so it doesn't get tangled. Pex hot water line, squeeze connector, and squeeze. On the other end, I'll tee into my sink hot water feed line. The cold line goes the same way, except it tees off to feed the toilet. Here we are behind the toilet. I drill the hole, insert the shutoff valve from the inside, clamp on our Pex line and hold that horizontal with a PEX bracket. We'll screw on our toilet connector hose. Toilet flange has the bolts and rubber seal and we'll put the toilet on top of that. There's the tank on and we'll hook up the hose. Turn on the valve. So there's our toilet. And our shower. Thanks for watching and good luck making your toilet shower combo.